Hello Stratters, mtgotickets.com, they sponsored this, they sponsored this quite a bit actually, and you guys did through the Patreon, and that's awesome, we are now in round 4 of the top 10 playoff, we are playing for the 10th spot in the top 10, because 9 decks are cleared for round 8, and they will start playing on April 4th or 5th, I haven't yet decided. Uh, this is Stompy Tokens, and only 2 decks are through to round 5 of the playoff, so if we win here we have a 33% chance of getting the number 10th spot. So this is a bit interesting, everything costs 1. We play only 20 lands in a 62 card deck. So I will keep this. And we're playing against Tron. So now it doesn't have an expedition map list. Now it will all depend on his play pretty much. How fast he can get to Tron. Because we will develop but it will be slow. Okay. Not looking good for us. And I will go Young Wolf, it's just strictly better than Tukatang Talid. I'm thinking Sprout Swarm here, but... Does it really do much to get an extra power? You could just play a Seagate Oracle and then it's pointless. So we don't do anything. And of course, if he gets Tron now, plays a Fanger Marauder, this is over. We can actually kill the Fanger Marauder pretty easily with Might of the Masses. He doesn't have it. I expect to see it over there is the expedition map. So next turn he has 10 mana. Can I have another mana please? I could not. This deck mulligan is pretty bad and I think with a lot of playables you have to keep a certain number of one landers in a deck with less than 33% mana. But now he has 10 mana and I have 1 and that's of course not the way to win at magic. And we have no way of dealing with the Crusher. Here comes the Seagate Oracle. And it's a pretty super efficient blocker here then. We could kill it, but uh, Might of the Masses is too valuable I think. He could also cast a Mulrifter here. Oh sweet god, I'm gonna get the 2-2. It's probably not worth it. And took a tank Talid, so next turn I can Sprout Swarm, but it's pretty slow. And I will have to discard. Now I'm fairly unlucky not to have drawn a land. And of course I'm going to lose this. It's another Seagate Oracle. Ouch! I'm gonna get so many zero one guys. 
You can't repeat it. Unless he finds another call of mana. Uh, I am still going to use this, I think. Or should I play forest? Yeah, because I have a purpose here. So I can sprout swarm at the end of turn. Hmm. I don't think I can let go of sign. I'm gonna let go of safe full delete. There is another blue mana. There's the crusher. So I think we will be able to kill it. Yeah, we'll sacrifice two Tukatang Talids. This could be happy times. Oh, he can just capsize one of my creatures. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've lost this. What am I talking about? He can just capsize the guy that we... Okay, I can't threaten 20 damage here. But I can't really sit back and enjoy life either. So I'm gonna have to hope that he blocks. And if he doesn't block, I will just not. No, I can't attack with the zero one. I can attack with that guy. Wow, he does block. So maybe he has a bolt. That would be embarrassing. Yay! Now, of course, I can't sprout swarm, but the situation looks a lot better. So I can't sprout swarm and lose it, but why would I do that? Rolling Thunder is, of course, Doom. And he will find it very shortly. Have eight mana for Sprout Swarm. Interesting. Metal Sentinel. And now I have, this is hard to count, eight. I get nine and another guy, so it works. So I can play two Katang Talid. And now I can Sprout Swarm twice, right? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. This is intense. 
I have a recollection that I defeated Tron at some point. What what killed us? What took down Stompy Tokens? It was Isatron, but it wasn't green. So he is capsizing something. What is he capsizing? Young Wolf. So is Sprout Swarm. And we have to use the Nepal Sentinel. Because these guys. Uh, always yes, always yield. Yes. He's gonna do another capsize for Essence Warden, probably. Or the Nettle Sentinel. So Fangor Marauder. Stirrings. Calling it as, as <laughs> calling it as I see it. Crusher. It's not like um, Zion will do a whole lot here. It's really might of the masses that we need. Sprout Swarm. And there is a might of the masses. Will it even be lethal? Probably not. We're not killing the crusher, right? We are killing the Fangor Marauder. Because we need him to be, this is 10 damage. Can we really stand Crusher? We have three Chakatang Talids. Keeping Essence Warden back, I think. It's 10 damage. So he needs to block three. How much gets in? If he attacks, he blocks three. I get in four plus ten. It's only fourteen. So this is my attack. Still has to block it as it is seventeen damage. And I think we are killing Fangor Marauder here. It might be a mistake. Well, we have plenty of stuff to sacrifice. Oh, and that's enough for uh, Scatter the Seeds. Maybe we had to kill Crusher. But him gaining life seems super dangerous. Though he had burned a lot of trinkets. So we sacrifice these two. 
And block with the zero one, I think. Or do we even just take eight damage? So that puts us within Rolling Thunder range. So that has to be wrong. I think we block with the zero one and we play Sprout Swarm then. We can actually wait with Sprout Swarm. Yeah. Ta-da! Another forest. They can just bounce Cyan. So Cyan doesn't do a whole lot. Is this an attack to be feared? I think we just need to attack with everything here. We're only getting through, he's killing two, we're getting through three damage. Or four if he doesn't block the Nettle Sentinel, that's just not enough. I think we have to wait the next turn. I'm gonna Sprout Swarm here. To gain maximum value, I should do the math here, but I feel that I'm playing way too slow now. And then we sprout form again. And then we play the save fold elite. And now we can't sprout swarm. Could sprout swarm and lose it, but why would we do that? We can easily take eight damage. Okay, well you need to know every time we play against Torn how much mana they have, and I'm pretty bad at that. But this guy seems to have 14, 15, 16, 17 mana. So we are far out of rolling thunder range, but he could just ravage our field. And now it's capsized tea time. Time is becoming a factor here. Which is good for us. We are ahead by 2 minutes and 40 sec seconds. And here comes the capsizes. I hope it targets a zero one. He capsizes, he capsizes Tukatang Talid. Which we cannot do anything about. I 
and he capsizes that guy, which we cannot do anything about. But if he decides to capsize one of those guys who can be... No, we don't have them. It's Tuka Tank Talid. He doesn't spawn. Why are we not playing the guy from Battle for Endicar? So we sacrifice the these two. Do we even now block with the zero one? We don't have many might of the masses left. It's very unlikely we draw a might of the masses. And the zero ones doesn't do anything. And now we could actually sprout swarm. <laughs> Which is neat. Didn't I say yes to that always? Okay, now we can start to get some significant damage through. He stirs. Where are his, there is a fan graph. He gets chromatic where he should fan graph for the Fangram Marauder. Is this the turn I sprout swarm? If he gets the Fangram Road, I think we're done. He has only two blockers right now, but he will get a third blocker. Oh god, Fangram Road will be terrible, but he goes for the capsize plan. Two blockers. I have seven, eight, nine, ten guys with power, so I get through an enormous amount of damage. I think this is the Sprout Swarm turn. No, it, it has to be wrong. How many capsizes does he have? He has three capsizes, right? 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's only two capsizes. So we get through seven damage if I do the Sprout Swarm now. I think I need to keep the Sprout Swarm. That was a pretty hard call. Wow, look at that. Um, and I can't Sprout Swarm him because I need to attack with everything. And here is my mass attack. I should play the Tuka Tank Talib as well. I cannot rely on Might of the Masses unless he uses his capsizes now. And he probably will not. Here is a capsize. And I don't have a creature I can sacrifice, right? So he hits Nettle Sentinel. And Nettle Sentinel leaves us. He goes down to seven. 
We play Nettle Sentinel. And we play Tukatang Talid. And now is the turn for the empty Sprout Swarm, I think. Now he should be using 4, 6, 8. He has to use the, the Hotel Fangraph. If he's not going to capsize. But it's either or. He is capsizing. Targeting Tukatang Talid. So I'll sacrifice a zero one. And a forest, I think, even. Yeah, because these guys are not relevant. And I'll just take the pain. The Fangram already just ends the game here. But he has two capsizes now, right? Oh, he's getting green mana. That's not any good. But he's using the stars, which is interesting. Capsize on the Essence Warden. And he might be giving up his second capsize here. So I think I have to surprise one. I think it's over the next turn. I can't take another hit, can I? So he now has 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana, but only two of which are blue, so he can only capsize once more. And I present 8 attackers. Which is a gigantic problem for him. And he plays a Muldrifter. That means that we are now free of capsize. No, we can capsize and lose it. What am I? Oh, it's a guild gate. Uh, that's good. He can capsize one final time and lose it. But that has to be super good for us. Yeah, he can get the other blue mana from the Shimmering Grotto. But we'll force him to do that then. And then he will die next turn. And I might as well do that. No, I have two blockers there. So here we go. And I will use the Might of the Masses 
Wow, he only has 8 minutes and 50 seconds to win. Yeah, so we are attacking with everything. Two, three, four, five, six. So we are casting Might of the Masses on something that is not blocked. And now he has to use his capsize. And lose it forever. And then we can actually play the science. So we have to block Crusher. What do we sacrifice? That's the problem. He's taking a sweet time here. So he's capsizing the poor little guy. He takes the damage. He's at three. So we have him next turn. We just have to not die. How do we do that? Sacrifice the two Katang Talid and a 1 1. Uh, block with the remaining guy from the two Katang Talid. Leaving us only four creatures. Might have been a mistake. But I can't take the damage here. He has 6, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. It's one mana short. 6, 12, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 28. It's 26. So we can take this hit. Well, unless he has a land in hand, then of course. It's Fangrim Marauder, but he has nothing to sacrifice to it. We are still lethal. Returns Ulamog Crusher. And that's enough. That is enough. So I think he will win this. He will only have two blockers next turn. So if I attack with everything, I have only two creatures. He's at one. Then I lose three guys. And I need to have four creatures left. Then I sacrifice all the lands and the zero one. Okay, I attack with five creatures. Two get through. Three are dead. It's not enough. It's not enough. And if I play Scion here, he's going to die. Do I only need to get one through. I can sacrifice the three lands. Yes, I have two creatures. It's enough. I th I'm going to do it. I should have played the Nest Invader first. I 
The problem then is of course that his attack is lethal. Definitely needed the two lands. Wow, this turn complicated. So will he attack with everything? Well, really, these these two lives should have mattered quite a bit. Oh no, he gains 10 life. Yeah, he wins this, but I doubt he has the ability to win again. I think I misplayed this. I will go to five. Or will I? No, I think I will block just to make him take longer. Got him to one, pretty tight. And I think someone who was better, Deluxecoif would have won this. But now he only has 540 to win. And that will affect my sideboarding. He's really wasting time here. Stack those to Annihilator triggers. Rancor would have been useful in the deck now to counter that. Um, Life Staff will make things take longer. I'm gonna bring in the Life Staffs and the Spider Silks ar armors. I think my science, well, they would be great, wouldn't they? What's not good against this deck? Think maybe Nest Invaders are too slow? But they're great for triggering life staffs. I think life stuff is probably not the way to win. It's not like I still have the essence wardens. What do I take out? Okay, I'm gonna take out one cyan and two nest invaders. And now for the last chance to be one of the three decks in round five of the playoff. I'm gonna go with this. Young Wolf always better than Tukatang Talid. No expedition map, no expedition map. Ah, it's an expedition map. Typical. And I don't find a third creature. We never saw any red, did we? That's weird. The 3-3 three, three Cyan would be pretty bad against red. Calni Garden will be great next turn. We'll swing for two, play this guy. Four minutes, 44 seconds. He didn't see a Scion last game. I 
And he has, he reveals a forest. We go see all the Heston. No, what the hell is going on? What did he just do? Okay, how much damage is this? It's 14. Not going for it. Oh, he's going to play a Fangrim Marauder and we are going to run it over. That's what's going to happen next turn. Okay, he goes for that, but yeah, very nice. So he has fogs. Okay, now I want to draw uh, something that makes two creatures. It's the fan graph, that's pretty pointless. There is another expedition map. But it doesn't help him win quickly. Oh my god, another Might of the Masses. So now it's lethal if it taps out. But I really need more creatures. Oh, he's using it. Tangle even, he has the foggy sideboard. Could do 12 damage with the little guy. He crop rotates into, yeah, he's definitely not red. Three and a half minutes. So then spider silk armor wasn't very good. Okay, if I draw two creatures now, but I sideboarded them out, right? These guys are still undying. So we should be good here. And now I can only do 10 damage. But I'm gonna kill the crusher. And he doesn't have capsize capability. So we just block and pump it. And then he has to fog. His own guy. Which he doesn't do. Thank you, Marauder. Do we offer the trade here? I think we do. There is the moment's peace. So 
So do we use one to get rid of the Fanger Marauder? One minute fifty seconds. Yes. No capsize, please. But capsize is pretty good here because it allows him to fog. No, it allows him to waste time. So I'm just going to attack with one of them. Because now I just have to stall him out. And I will play extremely defensively now. Uh, now I probably have to present lethal. Yes! Woohoo! Stompy tokens! Uh, Simictron, I guess. Grabtron was a lot more scary. Two to one. That means that for round five of the playoff, we have. Monored Heroic, Slivers and Stompy Tokens. Thank you for watching.